I'm glad you guys found that and you're enjoying the shit out of it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised of all the ones that like that one just immediate was like immediately was like, yep, you can use that right away. <laughs> Apparently needed no processing. That one and my NTAC logo, the only two I've never had to fuck with. I don't know. There was just those those two in particular. It didn't do anything. And then my personal logo, the gas lamp one, and the teamwork one took like what, like two weeks for them to fucking finally process them. It makes absolutely no goddamn sense. If anything, I thought it would give me shit about that one because because the teenth looks like it spells teats. And I thought some AI would have flagged me for trying to make a boob joke or some shit. I haven't even bothered making special ones for the higher subscription tiers because no fucking... No sane person would ever fucking uh, subscribe at tier two or three. <laughs> oh God, what child? Do we have a break? Probably not. If we do, it'd be on the back porch. Mother doesn't have a rake either, and I want to rake all the leaves and add them to the pile. You got two hands. We've been using snow shovels. I wonder why there was a snow shovel on the side. Well, I'm getting ready to start my stuff, so. I love you. Hold on. There might be one on the back porch. Hold on, hold on. Hold on come here. Come here, come here. Oh my god. <laughs> the sound of that dog wrecking shit to get away from her. No, she heard you yell her name, so she was like, oh fuck! And then took off. No, she was going after the cat. That was a cat. So that's what she does. Rawr. He's my dog. Uh, you're baby. My, you're my dog. He's a baby. You're my dog. You, you don't even like Ada. You're really heavy, dog. You don't even like Ada. Oh. I'll put some shoes on and I'll look for a race. Oh, it's funny. I'll tell Ada to take her out and Ada will be like, Lola. And immediately a dog fucking runs over here and hides under me. Since we fought together, Captain. All right, here what we was are. the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn yourself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. I'm guessing that's not the way Spooky. I'm going. Where, where are my teammates? They were here a minute ago. Now they're not here at all. Or are they just, like, way up ahead of me? Oh, they're just already way up ahead of me. Hey, Alpha. What's this? The SAA. They've gone too far. Looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. It's in his fucking Just skull. Back, boss. Let's get to work. So, uh, am I almost to the part of this Everyone game where where they fucking it. suddenly uh, suddenly disclose that Ethan isn't really dead Make because I with a group of more than we I feel like that's exactly where this game's going. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. 
So you don't know what comes what what happens from here? Oh no, this is just straightforward fucking running gun bullshit, isn't it? I'm not fucking searching for anything or What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably what the red is. Let's go. Well, I mean, at least they make the, uh, they make the machine gun not a useless piece of shit in this. So it's not even a machine gun. He's got like a fucking PDW, but either way. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Oh no, I guess it's an AK. I couldn't tell. Ugh, fucking, fucking tree. If this part of the game takes like fucking five minutes, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna be so frustrated that I quit last night. Ow. Did I not fucking reload that? Hey, I get eyes on you, boss. Keep going. Ow. My my man tits. Okay, I'm just gonna get fucking mobbed. Excuse my backup. Damn, this is big. I reached the target location. Right. Time to ignore the guy right Mark in front of me. Target. Roger that, boss. Bingo. All right. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is small. Hit it that way. If you would have told me at some point that I'd be using a fucking laser target designator in a Resident Evil game, I would have told you this series is dead. <laughs> Found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, oh look, how convenient! I the village with a sample from the bakers. There's and already supplies and no pre-marked stuff down here. We saw in the e series. The stuff originated here. That everything? That everything I got? Nope, 
I can't kill that from up here. Cool. Turn it loose. Guarding the Megamycete, huh? Keep going. It's cool. You it's cool, buddy. It's cool, buddy. I don't, I don't, I don't need your help now. <laughs> Fucking shit. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe. We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. It's the Megamycete. I see your joke. Alpha squad. I would say the same thing, the but then I bought a gun. So now we can end this mess after all. Though it might still end the it's same way. Time. That's one giant fetus. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now. We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. There wasn't Even time. So, there wasn't time to be like, hey, hey, that wasn't actually your wife. That I murdered right in front of you. This must be Miranda's lab. You would think, you would think, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this. Um, you know, since we skipped over sex and people don't know. You think he'd learn a little, a little more about being honest with people about the truth behind things, considering he almost got killed in the previous game because, uh, spoiler alert, the one character you play as turns out to be Wesker's son, and that's why he's immune, immune to the fucking C virus. And Chris is like, "Oh yeah, I killed your fucking dad." <laughs> Anyway, you know, what do we got in here? Oh, oh! I had to open the book to read. How fancy! Subject name: Salvatore Moreau. Could do affinity low. Brain functions surprisingly low. He's very stupid. The Kadu has. Has caused drastic changes to the internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. Unfit vessel for Ava. How much you want to bet Ethan's the one that's the... The, they need his, they, she needed his dead body. It 
Subject name, Alcina Dimitrescu. Could do affinity. Most favorable. Brain functions. Normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast and subject can heal an external wound within seconds or grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means increased body size. Note, due to her, her hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. Unfit vessel for Ava. Wow, we're really gonna like lean into this actually being like the real Heisenberg, eh? Subject name Carl Heisenberg. Kaido affinity incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Not, not whatever the fuck that is. I'm not going to pronounce it. <laughs> These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still unfit, unfit vessel for Ava. Subject name Donna B Beneviento. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just assume I pronounced that properly. Kind of affinity. Favorable. Brain functions. Normal. Although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamocyte. When humans absorb the pollen from the particular flower, she, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kadu among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Ava. No, yeah, we don't have a we don't have a, a random book here to tell us. Oh yeah, Ethan's the perfect vessel that just totally needed his dead body. You probably should not have them in the back. Uh, is this signed by anybody? Okay. I should I should have assumed it was Oswald Spencer. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with the knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. After the two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, that through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection, though a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found a key to the evolution, the progenitor, a virus in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to virus research. <coughs> As I choke on my own spit. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol on the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Well, that just was nice to uh, tie literally 
everything together at the very last second. Thank you. <laughs> that she looks oddly oddly like a certain somebody that I know wow Cressos real angry of you to, to shoot at that picture she's just a little girl My Eva, it's been it's been one hundred years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I wish your power I was so powerless back then, but not now. Now I can bring you back to life from the megamocyte. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her with a megamocyte regulator, the giant's chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the megamocyte. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Megamocyte. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamocyte breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a, new, there would be a way to bring you back. I just need the right vessel. <coughs> Jesus, sorry. Ethan is boring, though. When I return to the village, I implanted the villagers with the mold from the Megamocyte. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find the perfect, find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the, the efficiency of you're breaking the mood. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite called the Kadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There was there was some like attack. Dog dog attack. Cuteness. This ugly fucking dog. My baby. Get out of here with that thing. My babies. Get out of here. Get out of here with that thing. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. But all they created was another, another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her, her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. Nope, that's just, uh, that's just my child being loud as fuck. Fine. I'll shoot the fucking lock off. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying. Ada, could you stop, please? Yeah. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. I don't think you anyone has ever accused me of being loud. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. 
Well, Ethan had his heart ripped out, and your daughter was cut into four pieces, and now she's being I used to resurrect you. some crazy but lady's I can't child. Save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. This part where we learn that Ethan actually died in the in the last game and was resurrected by them. Oh, here's the here's the Ethan's not dead part. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there. I'm going to be honest with you, these, these last two games fit in with this series way better than, than uh, 4, 5, or 6 did. How did I get here? 7 was definitely a way better game than this, though. God, freezing. This shit in my body. What about that giant hole in your chest? Seven was a lot better. Though there were parts of this that I really did enjoy. You're so dumb. Ellen? How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean, Miranda. She... Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Rose? <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? Yes, you do start dressing worse when you become a parent. That's why I look so... That's why I look so terrible. Remember when you reattached your hand? Remember when you reattached your reattached your leg? I did it yesterday before I ended. We're literally at the end of the game. You're the mold, Ethan. Is it bad that he hasn't seemed to notice that his, like, his left hand nub has grown back? Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Daughter, 
God, go strangle that child already. I will save Rose. Yeah, there was a lot of people complaining that that whole revelation there was just like a last second effort to explain to explain how he got his hand stapled on back on in the last game, but you know playing a lot of playing the last game right before this Where am I? It's not bullshit. I think they had that planned all along. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. What the hell is pulling this goddamn cart? That's what I want to know. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. I have to be. Oh, no, his hand's back to being the nub. I gotta go. So he can get back up. He can get back up without his heart in his chest, but... So I don't have enough room for any of that. Uh, handgun ammo, no. Okay, and I'm full on healing items for fucking sure. Well, that's not helpful. I guess we'll save right here. Double checking because I'm paranoid. What's the side room here? Is this important? Is there anything important in here? No, I was just there to waste my fucking time. You know, we're back to what I said earlier. I don't give a shit. If there's any other items, it's a little late now for me to give a fuck. Out of my way. Ethan, she put your your big head baby back together. My power is leaving me. Rose. Miranda. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. 
Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Yeah. Let go! Steal that baby. I spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. the little rose I assure you I'll provide her with true happiness. so now you can die peacefully and permanent you understand I the love of a parent not let child. me get away how can you deny me why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid not yours <laughs> Saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, you know what? Should probably use these, eh? Oh, great mega mice. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Go on, rest now. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! <laughs> die, 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 die! I'm shaken! <laughs> If I combine Rose with a Mega Mycet, my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century, a century, all for this day. Why? Why would you die? Oh, fucking hey, I missed. I have grenades for this, don't I? <laughs> How? Why won't it let me switch my ammo in that? Like, I'm hitting the button. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For my job. None shall interfere in my grand designs. Hey, those are my this legs and my body.
That can't be it. My daughter! <laughs> My Eva! No way in hell that's the end. I mean, that was a pretty major fight, but give me my fucking big fat head child. Rose. Rose, I'm sorry those poor people it's tore you into pieces and put you back together. It's Why do we have to obscure his face? Why can't we see what he looks like? You already showed Ethan. his fucking face in the last game! Ethan. Why are we hiding his face? Come on, Ethan, wake up. Oh no. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. They obscured his face through this whole fucking it. We already know what he looks like. Oh, there we go. This is more what I was expecting. Yeah, time to, I want to fight this giant mold fetus. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Can you tell yourself? Now, come on, it's not that much further. Over. <laughs> Teach her to be strong. God damn. <laughs> Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. It's a tactical undershirt. It's thermal. It's supposed to keep you warm. It's not a sweater. I have to be able to fight it, not just blow it up, right? Really just gonna cut that right there? Rose Go. Go, take us up now. Well yeah, it's got the turtleneck top on it. It's to keep the fucking heat in. It's to keep the cold from going down your neck. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. He's blowing up the mold fetus. Tell me what's going on. Where? What was that? I told you to sit down. That was an unnecessarily 3D modeled explosion. Right. 
No, the baby's just wearing an ugly baby sweater. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. Ooh, is it still alive? This is a bio weapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Oh, and you guys brought it on board. How nice. What? Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. I'll fight your neck with my neck. Someone's got to pay. Not just a bulletproof baby, fucking dismemberment proof, apparently. You just cut it apart and it goes, it, you just put it right back together. I guess I totally could have finished this last night. What the fuck is this song? Yeah, it's from the Tim Burton-esque intro where she was reading the storybook. Which confused the shit out of me when this game started. I was like, what the fuck is this? Well, I like how they made it all make sense and they tied everything together and made everything all all nice and nice and tidy, but they waited until literally the last 20 minutes of the game to do it. Don't let these two shit on it. It was it was an okay game. Though the doll maker was the best part of the whole thing for fucking sure. The doll maker part was badass. Uh, the castle was like, yeah, but it was all right. Uh, Mermaid Man was fucking stupid as shit, and Heisenberg's factory could have been made cooler and not so much as just a fucking stupid maze. Turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark oh. enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So you know what this is? Child to safety. It's a so prequel to Don't Starve to Together, safety. see? It's what it is. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my Did the female vocals to this song have to be, like, so fucking... Like, why is the singer's voice so grating? I feel like I'm being wailed at. I was saying, because the, the dad in the storybook... <laughs> with this fucking torch, it just made me think of Don't Starve.
I want to know who performs it. I'm going to fucking laugh my ass off if it turned out to actually be Bjork. Nope, never mind. Nope, just some just some knockoff. Well, this turned out to be a short stream, didn't it? <laughs> Dollar Tree Bjork. We want to hear Bjork. We have Bjork at home. Bjork at home. Is this still okay to do that? Is that meme dead? This one YouTuber I watched. <laughs> Great value, Bjork. Great value is the one that I usually I usually default to. No, I don't I don't want to beat the dead memes too much. Like there's one YouTuber I watched that uh he's still doing the like slaps top of thing, this baby can fit so much insert thing here. I'm like, man, that fucking car salesman meme has been dead for like three years at this point, I feel. And it makes me cringe every time he fucking does it. I hate, like, down and, like, the lower third, right in the middle of where the names are. There's like a spot on that page. Oh, never mind. I don't think you can actually see it on stream. But it bugs me because it, it like it looks like there's some schmutz on my fucking monitor. Oh no, you can't see it on stream. It's very obvious now that I look and I can see where it is. It's like a big old goober. I'm still super confused as to why the fuck we had to obscure Ethan's face through the whole thing. Ethan's face that we've already seen. Yeah, because it almost, the way it is, it looks like it's on top of the text. Which makes it look like there's some gob of some bullshit on my fucking screen. It was driving me nuts. Oh, look at that angry jar fetus. Well, since it's so early, anybody want to play some Dead by Daylight or something? <laughs> Got Halloween shit to do. I haven't done any survivor side stuff on there. I've only played Killer like a few times since the Halloween event started. I haven't played any fucking survivor since the last time I played with you guys. Well, maybe you could. You might be able to possibly maybe 
maybe just a little bit find like a couple minutes worth of time to the game with your friends ooh a post credit scene Man, she got old lady hands. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is big enough. <laughs> Oh, they gave him a grave. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Aw. Talk of the goddamn devil. That's, that's baby Rose. Aww. She loves you. She never even got to fucking know you. You were just a fathead baby when he blew himself up. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed. Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. We need to keep it together, Rose. Oh, she had to say her name to herself, so in case you were dumb and didn't get it, you knew for sure. I know. Wow, all the nice graphics in this game and that shot right there that they decide to end on looks like ass. <laughs> uh, with Steam? No. Uh-oh. What was that there? You made me look away from the screen. What happened? The father's story is now done! Oh boy! A new difficulty level is available. Well, I don't care about any of this shit. Okay. Sure, I'll save. Why not? Why is my mouse fucking moving so goddamn fast all of a sudden? What? What is this? What? What happened? Why? Why is my mouse control all fucking out of whack? Oh, I know. It's fine when I got on. Well, anyways, it's Resident Evil Village. I'm gonna jump off and play some games with you guys. And then, uh. Well, I will make sure to bring up your stream when you start. And that means we've made it through the series at, at, at large. So I've got three bonus episodes I'm going to do for everybody. And we're going to be using the magic of VR to transport back to my 90s bedroom 
to play the original trilogy on PlayStation <laughs> because I figured out how to bring my chat windows into VR, so you probably won't have my beautiful face to look at because I probably won't use the camera for it for obvious reasons because you'd just be staring at me with a VR headset on. So you'll just get a nice full screen of experiencing the game semi the way I did back in the day. Just sitting down and popping open the PlayStation and throwing in the fucking disc. And playing it in front of a good old fashioned CRT. But anyway, thank you for watching. I am out of here and until tomorrow, you guys awesome. That made no sense. That was probably the worst outro ever. Also, I definitely should have just stayed up till like 11 yesterday to finish this fucking game. Alright, cutting it here. See you guys in Discord.